Hey everyone, um, my name is Ira, and I kind of wanted to make a series of like trans 101 videos from like a politicized perspective. Um, I'm sick and tired of the normative trans narrative being, I'm a boy stuck in a girl's body, because I'm not a boy stuck in a girl's body, I'm not stuck in my body, um, and my body isn't a girl's body, right, and so, let's talk about some things. Uh, so it, this, I recently did a workshop on this in Phoenix, and the workshop was about two hours long, so I'm obviously going to be like breaking these videos into small parts, the first of which is we're going to be talking about sex, right? When, when we first learn about sex, ooh, hey, I was hoping that wasn't going to happen, but I also don't have very good luck if you believe in it. Um, <laughs> When we first learn about sex, we learn that sex and gender are two different. Or, are, <laughs> we learn that sex and gender are the same thing. That that man, which is a word to define our gender, is the same thing as male, which is a word generally used to describe our sex, but not always. Um, and it's on the opposite side of the universe <laughs> from woman. I don't know if you can see this, and female. We learn that being male means having a penis, according to the dictionary definition of what a penis is. We learn that being female is synonymous with having a vulva, according to the dictionary definition, to the medical definition, to an oppressive definition of what that is. <coughs> but we also learn that, I don't know why I drew a connecting line, we learn that they are on opposite sides of the universe. We learn that there is no way to go in between these things, no way to go beyond these things, above, below, and such and so forth. You can't move. There's no freedom in the binary sex and gender world of completion. Um, and this is the status quo. This is what, if you were to ask a random person on the street, hey, what's sex and what's gender? Or like, what's your gender? Well, I'm a man. Why? Because I have a dick. You know what I mean? So like, this is, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, it's putting that on other people's bodies that it becomes um, problematic. So then in a women's studies course, you'll learn that man does not always mean male, and that woman does not always mean female, right? And that these two things, these two can sometimes switch. And you learn that that's okay because, well, intersex people exist, and they, you know, sometimes have ambiguous genitalia. Um, which is kind of a fucked up way to think, like to to learn about sex and gender. Um, I'm gonna interrupt. I'm gonna erase you, intersex people. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucked up. Uh, <laughs> um, just for the sake of room and for the sake of talking about a binary. But um, so yeah, so you learn that sometimes man and woman can sometimes be switched, but that you know, if a doctor gendered you male at birth, that it doesn't matter how you identify if you're a man or a woman, you're still male. And you learn that it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you're still female, if that's what a doctor put on a, on a, on a birth certificate when you were born. So we learn that sex is biological and that, in a women's studies course, we learn that sex is biological and that gender is a social construction. And this is just this is just my opinion that I'm about to say, um, but I hope that you give it some thought, and I don't expect to convince you or anything like that. I say that's bullshit. I say they're both so social constructions. And just because I want to be clear that a social construction does not mean something is fake. It doesn't mean that something is mitigated, less or um, or invalid or anything like that. It just means that it has a, a large cultural significance. Um, so yeah. So, and the reason, this is, I'll explain why I say it's a social construction. How do we define sex in a textbook? We define it as chromosome. We define it as genitals. We define it as hormones, which I think ties in with secondary sex characteristics pretty easily. So when we teach about chromosomes, we only teach about two different kinds of chromosomes. We teach about the XX and the XY. We don't teach about the 
XXX or the XXY or the XO, etc. That's one reason why <laughs> you can tell that sex is something that we've made up. Right. Because we don't care about accuracy. Let's move on to that to what I really wanted to say was when sexing a baby at birth, what does a doctor in a hospital do? They look at one thing and let's be real, they all look at their genitals. Let's What's in their pants? Well, babies aren't born with pants, but you know what I mean. <laughs> What's in their pants? And so, everything's based on that. So we've ha we have these boxes that we've predetermined called male and female. Right. So we have these boxes that we've predetermined male and female. There's really not that much difference between the two on an infant's body, but it doesn't matter. If a doctor thinks that you are male, you go in one direction. If a doctor thinks that you are female, you go in the other direction, according to society. If you have ambiguous genitalia, if you have XXO chromosomes, if you have XXY chromosomes, or um, XO chromosomes, XXX chromosomes, etc., etc., then, then you pretty much either don't exist, you are very rarely unassigned at birth, uh, or you are forced again into either of these two boxes, which explains furthermore why this is the why sex is something that we've created because we force people into our predetermined creations, um, which is being assigned a sex at birth. That's, um, and I'll and I I made a video about that recently, but I'll um, I'll make a new one updating that, at least my understanding of that. Um, but yeah, does that make sense? My logic is that if doctors cared about accuracy, if doctors, or if our culture cared about accuracy, if our culture cared about um, portraying the truth, then the reality is that there would be an infinite number of sexes because there are an, an infinite number of bodies, and, and we wouldn't force intersex people into predetermined bodies that we've considered the best that we've considered normal in our culture. Um, but yeah, that was pretty fast. Um, if there are any questions, I suppose I should define intersex. Intersex is anyone that our culture does not consider male or female by normative standards. So that could be having ambiguous genitalia, having different chromosomes, having abnormal hormones and such and so forth. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, if you'd like to contact me, you can always comment below, you can go to my blog, um, and such and so forth. And I hope this is helpful. And I work a lot, but hopefully I'll be able to make a video about gender soon. Um, Alright, and I will talk to you later. Bye.